y'all, and welcome back to Cup of Cheer. Wow, I cannot believe it's been another year since we last filmed, and I'm just so sluggish right now. Let me even see if that worked. Hi, y'all, and welcome back to Cup of Cheer. So today, I thought I'd share with you a couple of my favorite or quirkiest finds this Christmas. So it's still the beginning of December, so I'm sure there will still be some uh, interesting finds to be had, but I wanted to share these with you because they made me laugh or I have really enjoyed them. So there you go. Uh, first of all, I just want to let you know also that this is not a sponsored ad, I'm not getting anything from this. I just want to share my fun with you this year. So first off, um, all right, let me start with the quirkiest thing I have found this Christmas that just makes me laugh out loud. I was at Bass Pro Shop and I went to their uh, cotton candy section. Yes, you read that right? It's yellow snow cotton candy. It's actually banana flavored. I have not um, braved trying this yet, but my parents tell me it doesn't taste half bad. It's not the best flavor, but it doesn't taste half bad, they say. So there you go. Um, if you have young boys, you may or may not want this. <laughs> um, the one that I liked, though, that they have right now, they have a flavor at Bass Pro Shop of cotton candy. Peppermints! It's super yummy. It is corn syrup-free, gluten-free, all that wonderful stuff. It is just sugar and flavor. Um, flavor, sugar, artificial flavor, and red number 40. So for those of you who have allergy issues, this is actually a pretty big win in my opinion. Although if you have problems with food coloring and sugar, well, there is that. But both of these actually are fine on people with corn allergies and gluten allergies and dairy allergies, which is awesome. And bonus, it doesn't have blue coloring in it, which I have a sensitivity to, so yeah. Uh, peppermint took me a minute to like the taste of. At first it was a little bit odd. I don't know why. It just kind of was a little different. But after the first like two little bites, it was actually super good and tastes really like, yeah, tastes really good. Um, another peppermint find is actually Yum Earth brand and it is candy cane pops. You read that right, folks, candy cane pops. Now, why do I find this interesting? Well, as you know, I'm allergic to my shadow almost. So anytime I find something that's good for allergy issues, it's a bonus in my book if it actually can taste like something I can recognize. <laughs> um, personally, I found this a little bit of a hot, uh, on the hot side for peppermint. So... I can only eat about half of it, and then I have to put it aside and then eat half again later. But it does actually taste quite legitimate. If you're used to like the sticks, like the big sticks, I, from what I can recall, it tastes pretty spot on to those. But if you're used to the candy canes that you get in like the big packs and that you hand out for caroling, it's a little hotter than that. So it depends on what side of the peppermint uh, stick you're, <laughs> you like to go. Uh, yeah, so those are some of my favorite tasty treats. Another thing I wanted to share with you, I don't have them with me, but uh, Dollar Tree actually has uh, little children's books that are seek and find children's books. They're little picture things where you try and find the items that are um, to be found. They're only a dollar. They have at least four that we found. They might have uh, five or six, I'm not sure. But they at least have four. Uh, Nativity scene, Santa's village, um, I think it was an ice skating rink, and then one other one at least. So I actually uh, flipped through the pages to see what they were like, and I really had a lot of fun going through it. Yes, it's easy for someone my age because they're made for like ages two and up, something like that. Uh, I don't know if they had the actual age on it. But it's one of the thick paper books, so it seems like it's made for pretty little, little kids. But it could still be enjoyed by about six and eight-year-olds, I'm sure. So there you go. Those are some of my favorite finds. Um, you can find this at Target, actually, is where I found this. 
You might be able to find this also at Walmart, Amazon, some of those other places. I'm not entirely certain, but I found this at Target. They also have some good Yum Earth items at Halloween if you want to go and find those as well. Also at Target. So, yeah, they have great lollipops at uh, Halloween time. And I never thought to look at Target for that. But, yeah. So, in the candy section, that's where you'll find this. Hopefully. And as for the pot, uh, cotton candy, you'll find those at Bass Pro Shop. You might be able to find it some other places. It's famous cotton candy brand. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy those items as much as I've been enjoying them. Uh, that's all for right now. What are some of your favorite finds this year or maybe last year? It can be a movie or a CD or uh, maybe a yummy treat. I'd love to hear. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, y'all, from me and mine to you and yours. Have a very Merry Christmas and a cup of good cheer. Bye. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. The tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone. No, we can you our girl on a sweet and bowls each. Tidings and Merry Christmas. Jupon Yesen! Alright! Please not be done! Yeah, yeah, yeah.